Hey there, I want to show you 10 features you did not know about the FL Studios playlist. If you knew, you know what to do, hit the subscribe button and let's get started. So this is the FL Studios playlist and the very first thing we're going to look at is the track export. Now, I'm sure you may be used to exporting your business in multi-tracks or stems as linking into the mixer first, right? As you route everything into the mixer like I did here. But you know, you can totally export it as multi-tracks while in your playlist without linking into the mixer. Let me show you. You can simply highlight the region, okay? Then you come right here, come to tools, exports all playlist tracks, okay? Then you select the folder that you want it to get to, okay? Then we we'll go to tracks. Now you can see everything is highlighted. That is the entire region from start to finish, okay? Or if you just want a simple region, maybe just the hook, you can highlight just the hook section or just the first section. Anyone is fine. Then you can either turn your effects on from your mixer or turn it off or on if you have any effects running through a particular sound on the mixer, okay? And then you do the normal export process you typically do. And then if you notice, you can't do split mixer tracks because it's not running through the mixer. It's not exporting it as from the mixer, okay? It's exporting it from the playlist. So all you have to do is click start and it's going to export. I mean, fast forward this because I don't want this video to be too long, okay? All right, so it's done exporting and these are the tracks from track one to track 25 all the beat samples and it's going to be very organized when I load it into the project. So the second feature about FL Studio's playlist is the picker panel. Now this can be very helpful for you to get files in and out of a project. Maybe you just want to take this in, okay? You can always use this to quickly drag in files, but if maybe you don't see this anymore, it's, it's very easy to take it. All you have to do is come right here, come to picker panel. If you want to show it, you can disable it. So if you want to change the position, pick up panel, I can put it by the right hand side. You can see now it's here. So anyhow you feel it's better for your workflow, you can move it around or you can take it out completely. It depends on you, but let me put it back. I'm already so used to having it by the left hand side. And you can even increase the width as well. You can make it large. And you can make it really tiny. So it depends on what you want to do, but I'm going to leave it as normal, regular. So that's for the pickup panel in FL Studio. So the third thing that you probably do not know about the FL Studio's playlist is that you can have multiple arrangements in one project. Now you can see I have this beat playing here. Now, this starts with a verse, right? This is a verse. Let's say I don't want a verse here anymore. I want to change something else. But I'm, I still want to retain this arrangement. So I can just come right here, clone it. If I want to clone, okay, a second arrangement. Or if I want to just make a new um, arrangement, just say fresh. I can name this fresh, right? It's going to be empty. Then I can rebuild everything again as I want. So let me come back to the arrangement. You can have multiple arrangements. You can have so many arrangements. You can even delete. Let's say I don't want this fresh anymore. I can delete the fresh. And you can even merge arrangements together if you want to merge, all right? So let me say, let's say I don't want maybe drums. I don't want drums anymore here. But in here, but when I come to the first arrangement, So you can see I have my drums playing here. So you can use this to speed up your arrangements. If, you have, if maybe you have different versions, so maybe an, a client or an artist, or you're collabing and you have different ideas for the structure, you can have different, you don't have to open a fresh project to create a new arrangement. You can just simply have multiple arrangements in FL Studio. All right, so the fourth thing that you probably may not know about FL Studio is that you can actually stretch samples to fit the time of the project. So right here, right, let me play. This is a shaker loop with drums. You can see it's not on time. So how do I make it on time? Typically, you can do this, right? You can just say a single bar. You can do that, right? That's not the most popular way to do that. But we can also do that here. So I can come right here make it more flexible for me to move around, maybe a quarter step, then click on the stretch right here. If you don't see stretch, maybe you also selected on any of these two icons, right? But just click this um, one that look like an audio clip, click stretch, and then she can stretch it out, and then you can stretch it out as long as you want. Depends on you, but I think I prefer this. 
then I can just duplicate this all around, select this. So the fifth feature that you probably may not know about FL Studio's playlist is that you can actually convert your tracks into actual track modes that works with your mixer. All right. So I can just any channel, right? I can right click this, then I can come to track mode, audio track, then I can link it to any of my mixer inserts, right? When I link this here, right here. So I can either record vocals through this, or I can bring my audio clips right here and it will automatically be routed to that playlist. So let's see, this is insert 30, right? And then this sound is currently at track 21. If I bring this down here, it's automatically going to be in track 30. You can see it's going to be track 30 automatically. So you can convert your tracks into actual track modes in FL Studio. I know that sounds a bit weird. You think it should be, but it's, it's kind of new in FL Studio. And for the sixth tip that you probably may not know about FL Studio, still on track mode, is that you can actually load virtual instruments straight from your playlist, okay? So I can come right here come to track mode again, come to instrument track, and any of my VSTs, let's say for example, I want to load up Launch Lizard. So it's going to be routed here. So if I play a melody, I can also record it automatically, right? Turn off um, loop. So you can see this is me playing this directly and I can also take it out, access the piano roll. If you want to bring back the virtual instrument without going to the channel, I'll call after this double click this and it comes up. Click it, it goes back, click it, it comes up. So this is a fun way to play with your virtual instruments in the track mode in FL Studio playlist. All right, so the seventh feature that FL Studio playlist has that I really do like is the auto name feature, which saves you a lot of time when you're trying to do your track exports. So your projects can look a lot more organized when you load them into another DAW. So now you can see I have my rim shots right here, right? I have my rim shots, I have my snare, kick. So if I want to actually name, because if I want to name my, my tracks, the manual we have to just come right here, name this kick, right? Name this kick. And, and that can take a lot of time to get through across everything right here so if i already have my pattern named i can just right click this just come to auto name it's going to name kick right like the same thing um hat auto name and if maybe you want to do the reverse where you rename the track and your clips take after the name because these are the clips it's really easy as well after this right click then just say rename right i can name this maybe perk two okay then all of this right click, then come to auto name clips. You can see now it's going to auto name all the clips. So the eighth feature that FL Studio Playlist has that's really, really cool is the consolidating feature. Now, if maybe you have a PC that's not so powerful, consolidating your tracks can really save you a lot of PC resources and still gives you the ability to edit them, all right? Now, before we had to render our sounds all the time, before we can spare CPU, but now you can actually consolidate it and still have access to MIDI information. So now when I right click this, for example, this is a base, I think. This is a base. So I can just come right here, right, and consolidate this, right click, consolidate this track. Now you can either have it from track start or song start, depends on where it comes in. So, all right, so let me just do from track start. So it's going to consolidate everything. Yes, it can take a while, so just be patient. Now you can see it's all rendered as audio file, but I still have access to the MIDI right here, right? So if maybe I've changed my mind about what it's in the audio file, I can still have access to the MIDI, but VST and the MIDI information is deactivated, so the audio file is going to save you a whole lot of resources on your PC. So imagine if you had to go do this for your entire tracks, your drums, your keys, your bass line, your pads, synth and all that, it's going to save you a lot of PC resources. So consolidating your tracks, it's a great way to save PC resources in FL Studio's playlist. So for feature number nine, and this is a feature that actually makes your workflow really easy and really fast, okay? And this is just, it may seem small, but trust me, it does save you a lot of time. And this is you accessing the toolbar right here. Now, if you want to cut, for example, it's either you know the shortcut, or you come right here and just maybe click the knife tool, and then you cut, and then you have to go back to your pencil tool, you come back to your pen tool, and then you continue. Now, that can be stressful sometimes so when you have a large project like you have so many tracks to cut through okay do you know if you just right click and hover your mouse wheel you can actually scroll for example i want my pen tool that's my pen tool if i want my 
my mute tool this is my mute tool if i want my cut tool this is my cut tool and i can keep going on without ever coming here this makes it so fast if i want my select i can select so remember you have to just right click and hover through your mouse wheel and you can access your toolbars and this also works in the piano roll as well but since this is for playlist it's also very effective for playlist if you found this helpful don't forget to leave me with a thumbs up so that people that need helpful videos like this can easily find it right here on youtube i mean we all need to learn together okay and also hit the subscribe button down below to keep up with more tutorials from me i remember sir classy this is sc toots see you soon cheers